hello friends this is the fifth video tutorial into the video lecture series on machine learning so till now in all video lecture we have seen that what is the machine learning system how in general way the machine learning uh, system works uh, plus what are the different kind of uh, machine learning system so in this tutorial I am going to show you that uh, why machine learning uh, suddenly become lot of hype in uh, today's time why you should learn ma machine learning uh, now so let us see what are the different uh, main focus the reason right now uh, in the current world that's so that machine learning become very much famous uh, nowadays and it is going to become a next generation uh, computer science so let's see First of all, there is a lots of data. We'll going to uh, discuss in a more detail each and every uh, topic. Uh, very high computation power. Uh, we'll see about the what are the real world machine learning application. How this uh, Google, Microsoft, even Facebook, Apple are using machine learning for their internal uh, products. Uh, we'll see about some of the famous quotes by uh, the people on the machine learning and at the end we'll see about what can be the possible future about the machine learning okay so first of all there is a lots of lots of data available so uh, this I they, this is about just give you the glimpse that the scale at which the data is available to us that is enormous you can see that uh, google is already processing a uh, 20 petabytes of data per day so that is the time at the 2008 uh, facebook is already handling 40 billions of photos from its uh, user base uh, walmart has handled a 1 million customer transaction every hour eBay has already a 50 terabytes of uh, data for the processing every day plus uh, CERN's very large hydron collider laboratory generates uh, 15 petabytes of uh, data uh, per year so these uh, numbers are just to uh, give you an overview that the uh, scale at which the data is available to us that is uh, one of the main reason that machine learning is uh, getting successful because to run the machine learning system you require a huge huge amount of data for the training purpose and those uh, data is available in our time right now because if you consider the today's time with the uh, at least if you go 30 or 20 years even back that was not possible we have a this much amount of data so we are generating continuously the very huge huge amount of data so this is a very good first reason that we should learn about the machine learning now let's see there is one more is the high computation power so if you consider um, this Google and Facebook these guys are already handling millions of servers into their database for processing all of their products and a lot of background data processing works is keep going so in today's time we have a huge amount of computation power we have moved from our desktop or laptop computer to the cloud computing uh, era so if you want to uh, suppose some machine uh, at a rented way or if you want to buy some of the servers on to the cloud it's become very easy so uh, it's all at your fingertips so a lot of computation power available it suggests that cell phone is already a million times cheaper compared to the very first cell phone available 20 or 30 years back and it becomes even a million times uh, faster so you can think about the friends that the enormous scale at which the day, uh, computation power is available at your fingertips the huge amount of computation power already available in inside your pocket in a form of a uh, cell phone uh, let's see this uh, diagram I have taken this diagram uh, from the one of the famous the futurist uh, who has predicted that the, the rate at which this computational power inside uh, our different types of system is going on that is at a very exponential uh, rate he is the Raymond Creswell he is uh, one of the most famous futurists so what he suggests that uh, if you consider uh, this era of 1960s and 80s uh, 
the amount of computation power we have available it's going at a very much uh, a rapid speed so it's almost uh, approaching to the exponential growth of computing so they are telling that by at least 20 uh, 2020 sorry 2020 will be available at least one mouse uh, uh, computation power of at least one mouse brain and by 2040 will achieve the computational power of one human brain so you can imagine that uh, the amount of computation power we have uh, available at very enormous and machine learning system requires this much amount of computation power for the processing your huge huge of the amount of data the different industries are generating so this is a very good reason that why uh, this machine learning becomes suddenly so much hype and why it was not in a earlier times they are even predicted that by 2060 or by s uh, around 70 will have a computational power available which combines the all human brain available onto the planets okay so this is the uh, another second reason that why you should dive into the machine learning now let's see some of the real world machine learning uh, application so if you see this many google application has a machine learning uh, component so if you consider just the google uh, news the google is fetching the news from the lot of different uh, news website and machine learning system will automatically cater those clustering similar kind of news putting into the one uh, place this all happens because of machine learning and mach different machine learning algorithm uh, google voice search it is almost at more than 80 percent uh, accuracy uh, now now nowadays so they are using deep learning kind of technology this is a sub field of the uh, machine learning system self-driving car and many more so lot of google's product and almost other silicon valley tech giant company are trying to put the machine learning component inside every their software system facebook has their uh, photo tagging system it identifies the uh, f face from the Im image automatically it even recognize the face so this all possible because of the machine learning uh, system uh, there is one recommendation system on to the Amazon on uh, or the Netflix so Amazon gives any kind of product recommendation on Netflix any movies or shows recommendation this all possible with the help of machine learning system uh, apart from this all other single company into Silicon Valley or any other place trying to put this machine learning component into their individual system to make that system even more intelligent so you can see that everyone is moving towards the making their system intelligent and machine learning can help us that way so this is one of the good reason that all application are going to build on the top of machine learning system so machine learning become another operate kind of another operating system so we are entering into the new era of uh, windows or linux kind of operating system so it is going to become a new operating system so this is a very good reason that you should go ahead and learn about that uh, the, I'll show you some of the famous quotes by the people who were stole on the machine learning that uh, what they think about the machine learning so this is just to give you the inspiration uh, that how these big people are uh, thinking about the machine learning so Microsoft founder the Bill Gates once uh, tell that a breakthrough in a machine learning would be of worth 10 Microsoft 10 Microsoft 10 Microsoft means they are telling that if you can make computer to think you can build a company which is of worth 10 Microsoft that is a too too much so they are thinking that machine learning has such a kind of important uh, at this uh, scale once the Bill Gates has been asked that if you are a computer science student then uh, if what subject would you like to learn at this moment he immediately told that that's a uh, machine learning because the machine learning is the future uh, one more is the uh, Tony Tether uh, he is the director of the DARPA net he once told that machine learning is going to become a next internet Steve Ballmer Steve Ballmer is the uh, former CEO of the uh, 
Microsoft. So he once told that uh, machine learning become a hottest aspect of the computer science. So if you are uh, building any computer uh, system, software system, you need to put a machine learning component to make that intelligent. So it becomes uh, one of the hottest area of the computer science right now. Uh, Vinod Ghosla is uh, one of the co-founder of the Sun Microsystem. He once told that doctor can be replaced by the software at least 80 percent of them so he's trying to tell that 80 percent of doctor can be replaced by the software system that software system is nothing but the computer science uh, system so he told that i would rather much have a good machine learning system to diagnose his disease rather than uh, median uh, doctor so he believes in a machine learning system much more than one of the average doctor because those machine learning system has a huge huge amount of data compared to one doctor has so you can uh, imagine that what the people are uh, thinking about the machine learning uh, and what is kind of uh, future machine learning can uh, help because everyone is putting huge huge amount of money to make their application more intelligent uh, and attract more and more user based on the new breakthrough of the machine learning uh, at the last we will see future of machine learning so whole community of this machine learning artificial uh, intelligence people from the neuroscientists uh, background our brain science uh, side people everyone has been divided into two kind of com people some are very optimistic some are very uh, pessimistic so uh, I, the pessimistic people what they are uh, saying that uh, they have raised the biggest concern of the uh, threats will happen to the humanity because of the machine learning system the people like bill gates or eon Musk, the founder of spacex or tesla and uh, stephen hawkins one of the very famous cosmologist cosmologist of our time he raised the biggest concern uh, because of the threat will happen to the uh, because of the machine learning uh, uh, system so these guys are little pessimistic and uh, they are about to concern they are concerning about the machine learning system because they are telling that if something goes into reproduction that will end of the humanity but uh, uh, one thing uh, and there are opt optimistic people also from the optimistic side of uh, uh, you people are thinking that even though uh, we'll lose some of the uh, job but anyhow we'll create some of the job so if you consider this scenario with the at least 50 years or 70 years back when the computer was first invented all the people so from the different industry they are telling that uh, we'll lose our job because anyhow computer is going to take over anyhow computer will only do all those work so why human will lead but eventually that didn't happen and we'll have created the different kind of job and overall this machine learning system is going to solve a uh, lot of problems of uh, humanity so there is a very much optimistic view and there are people towards the pessimistic view i am one more towards the optimistic view let's be optimistic and let's think the very great future is going ahead in front of us because of the machine learning and artificial intelligence kind of system so these are all just two different view i am telling about the machine uh, machine learning there is a lot of videos on the internet if you are interested for the what can be the possible future of machine learning and into the uh, different area what are the uh, technology it can even disturb in the future you can see about it so that's it for this lecture uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, scenario the way I am uh, representing about the machine learning system why you should learn machine learning uh, system now okay thank you guys for the watching in a subsequent lecture we'll see about the different machine learning uh, algorithm and we'll implement it inside the uh, python and uh, scikit-learn what we have installed into earlier lecture thank you guys for the watching please do like comment and subscribe the video